Should look a little something like this. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Andre and I'm back with another banger. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your 4C hair. As you can see, my hair is pretty nappy. It's not looking the best right now. Quarantine got me effed up right now, but as you can see, I have 4C hair. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your hair curly using my method. I think this method's kind of really good. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and enjoy this tutorial. I know you guys have seen those videos where guys with like looser hair textures, they'll literally splash water on their hair and they'll get curls immediately. Well, I'm gonna actually show you how to get curls for this type of hair texture. It's about 4C, 4C uh, hair. And uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of coils in there, a little bit, just a little, just a little bit. But I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get these curls. So, and if you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button. If you want, you can subscribe. I would really appreciate that. But with all that being said, let's get into this video. All right, before we actually get to start curling and twisting our hair, usually what I like to do is just wash and shampoo my hair to make sure my hair is clean and it's kind of moisturized, so. But before we actually start doing that, I like to put myself, my, I like to put my hair into sections, split it up in sections using rubber bands. Some people like the thicker ones, I like using these thinner ones, really up to you. But when you have longer hair, it helps to section them out so you can comb and tangle it. But uh, I'm using this, this conditioner to condition my hair. It's the Argan Oil Morocco conditioner. It's something I just tried out. Usually it's the Cantu uh, conditioner and I use the Cantu shampoo, but I'm using this random, I don't know, it's called the main choice. Yeah, I'm using this, it's, it's a random one. I don't really care, but uh, yeah, let's get into sectioning out our hair, so. Six hours later. All right, guys, so I got my hair sectioned out. I look real crazy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I got it in the front, and I got like two rubber bands on the sides, and then two in the back. So I'm about to take a shower, I'm about to wash and condition my hair, and I'll be right back, all right? So I just hopped out the shower. My hair is looking kind of defined. I just shampooed and washed it. You don't necessarily have to shampoo and wash your hair, but it helps because this hairstyle can last you like 10 days a week. It can last you a very long time. So if you haven't washed your hair yet for like five to six days, and then you wear this hairstyle for like another seven to 10 days. It's kind of disgusting. And uh, you probably should wash your hair before you do this, but you don't have to. Anyways, yeah, so my hair is like kind of defined and this is the part where we apply the products. And by the way, I'm not naked. I have shorts on, it may look like I'm naked, but I'm not. All right, so the products that I'm using are Cream of Nature Argan Oil, and then I'm using the Cream of Nature Twist and Curl Pudding. And I use the Eco Styler Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil, which pretty good. Don't skip out on your gel because if you do, you probably get flakes in your hair and you don't want to get flaky hair in your hair because it'll look bad. Also you'll need is a bottle of water so you can spray your hair as you detangle it and as you go through the process of curling your hair. And also this, a wide tooth comb. My hair is pretty thick. Yes, it is pretty damn thick. So this will help a lot with detangling my hair. After you get your products together, what you want to do is take out one section of your hair like so. So, boom. Make sure your hair is wet or damp, but not too dry. What I like to do is, I like to start off with my leave-in conditioner, so just leave-in conditioner. God damn. Right, I'm using about this much. Just rub your hands together and just start going at it. Just like this. Just calm down a little bit. All right, after you finish with the leave-in conditioner, you can now put in the twist and curl pudding. Of all that in. You can see my hair is getting a little bit more defined. Just combing out a little bit. And those are my naps coming out. God damn. All right, next is the gel. And just repeat the same process. Just get a little bit of gel. Can't even see it's because it's clear, but I got like maybe a thumb size, a little bit bigger than that. Just rub that on. All right, so all that product is in my hair, all right? All right, this part of the process is totally up to you. I prefer my curls to be more of on a smaller strand. So what I'll do is I separate it, just like I said before, and I'll grab the section of it and I'll start twisting my hair from one side. So starting from this side, as you can see, this is like a good amount of hair. So what I'll do is I'll split that and I'll just wrap my finger around it, just twirl, just like that, all the way to the end. You wanna make sure you get to the end so your hair, just the ends are defined. Boom, look at that. See how it curls up just like that? It bounces back. Just keep repeating that process. 
This process takes a while, so depending on how, you, how defined you want your hair, it's truly up to you. So if you want to take a lot of time and truly define your curls, probably going to take, well, it takes me about two hours. So it's really up to you. So if you want really defined curls, it's going to take a little bit. If you don't really care, you want some twist hair, some like afro-ish type of hair there, then it probably won't take you that long, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. But for me, it takes me around two hours because I have to like take my time. That being said, I'll be back after I twist up my hair. I'll see you guys. If you guys look closely, this is what it should look like after you finish at least one uh, section of your hair. So, yeah. All right guys, I'm back and you're probably thinking this guy looks freaking crazy, but I can assure you this method works. If you look at my hair right now, it's really defined, like super, super defined on all my sides. And the reason why my my uh, hair is all banded up like that is because as you know, when you have 4C hair like this, your hair tends to um, shrink. So basically I'm trying to make my hair elongated by stretching it out with these bands. And right now my hair is pretty wet. It's pretty wet after all the product and the water I put in my hair, but it's super defined. It's, just, it's super defined right now. So I'll get back to you guys when it's finally dry and we can finally finish the process. A few inches later. I'm back and I took out the bands out of my hair. Made sure my hair was completely dry and this is the final look. As y'all can see, my hair is really super defined and I can shake it and it bounces back. All right guys, so by no means do you guys have to actually have your hair this defined. You can untangle it, make it a bit more looser. I like to do that around my front and that's basically it. That's how I define my hair. And I feel like this is probably one of the best ways to train your hair to be a, little, a lot more curly and to actually get curls for your 4C hair. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Let me know what other videos I should do and I'll see you guys later. Peace.